Hello everyone and welcome officially to the first lesson of our course. Today we will try to make your life easier and we will show you how to make all the things from the previous lesson only in 5 minutes. Also we will talk about uh, branches of RageMP, how to use them and what's the difference. So let's imagine that you don't have RageMP on your computer, you have only Visual Studio and you really want to code something on RageMP platform. Special for that, we created a Git repository where you can find code to every lesson uh, that is stored in several branches, like here in uh, lesson zero. So you just uh, click code and uh, download zip. So after the zip archive was downloaded, you can open it. There's a folder course project. You can open it, uh, then going to rage folder and uh, open updater.exe and waiting for updater to update our RageMP. So after RageMP downloaded uh, all required files, we should go to previous folder and open courseproject.sln with Visual Studio. Now we are waiting until the project will load. So, now we need to change uh, the active platform for our solution from any CPU to x64. Now we are clicking to our solution uh, with the right click and uh, rebuild the solution. Build successful. Now we can go to Rage Server Files and open our RageMP server. Yep, it's working. So, let's talk about RageMP branches now. What are they and uh, what's uh, their differences? So, there's a uh, config.xml file in the uh, RageMP folder. You can open it with text, uh, text editor. So there's a channel property. By default, there's a pre-release property, but we are using uh, pre-release client set reloadability. We'll talk about some later. So in the uh, RageMP official Discord server, there's a quick updates channel. There's some features, but uh, they are not well tested, so they are not in uh, the main branch. But uh, if you want to test them, you should uh, just set this branch in your config.xml. So as you can see, for example, here an update uh, has been pushed into some, some branch. You can set it here in channel property and uh, use updater.exe to update your RageMP to this version. Also, if you want to use uh, the RageMP for 0.3.7 version, it's old version. You need to set uh, pre-release, uh, old pre-release, and uh, when you will start the server, it will work for 0.3.7 version. So that's all with theory, but uh, why we are using uh, uh, pre-release clean side reloadability version. So everything is simple. We can go to server files, clean packages, uh, CS packages. So we created uh, our project here, not just the scripts. And so there's a lot of trash files that we don't need. And RageMP automatically wants to compile them. Uh, the first way how to fix it is uh, just put only the scripts in this file, but it's not so useful. It means that you will always need to place the files from one folder to another folder. And so in uh, this branch, there's uh, like the same as uh, git ignore, but only for client packages of RageMP. So you can just create uh, ignore underscore list uh, file here and uh, put all the names of the files or the folders here and uh, RageMP will ignore it while building. It's really useful. At the moment, you know how to create and configure a RageMP project and what is the RageMP branches, also where to check for updates in RageMP. All the most interesting ahead, detailed study of Rage API. Also, don't forget to join our Discord server. Link for it and for other useful resources in the description. Goodbye, see you in the next lessons.